<laughs> All right, we have an older resident. He said his he says his ball bag is not quite touching the water, but he fears that in nine to nine months to a year more of aging, they're going to go ahead and go in the drink. So we're going to uh, hook him up with a taller toilet. This is the one we got to pull out. Turn the water off. I'm gonna be pulling that one out, and my partner in crime, Justin, is gonna be putting this one together. <laughs> All right, the toilet that we're putting in is a Seasons brand. It comes with the the fill valve and the flush valve already on it. All you pretty much gotta do is do the tank bolts there and the gasket. This is what they told us to buy, guys. So don't. Don't uh, chew my ass about it. They wanted the season, so I'm putting in the seasons. Get as much water out as I can. Just give it flush into the tank. Alright. Got a bucket and a towel down to catch the water. Look at that guys. You see that? Look how they grout it around the toilet. That's a grout around the base. Oh, this is coming up easy. Here we go. Oh, the whole boat bolt spinning. Lovely. Oh, man. See if I can bring it off to the side. There we go. All right, dodge the bullet on that one. I'll grind that sucker off, though, if it kept spinning. i use my jam bar. comes up easy. Guess I'd rather it be grout than caulk. I don't like caulking in toilets. I like to know if it's leaking immediately. That caulk will hold the water in and then rot the subfloor out. But I know it's code in some of you guys' area, so I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Flange nice and clean for the new one, for the new wax ring. Looks good, solid, no cracks. All right, now we we'll set the new one. Put in our new bolts. 
sometimes I'll bolt these in as well. I'll put them in with a nut. It's got these. Put the new wax ring down. Make sure my bolts are even. So I'm going to bring the new one in. It'll slide right over. All right, we're ready for another toilet. Right. Let's put the new one in. It's going to be a big old pain in the butt sometimes. His family jewels are going to be just fine after this. I'll hook him up. That's why I love doing maintenance. Every day is different. One day you're a plumber. One day you're an appliance repairman. One day you're an HVAC technician. Never a dull moment. Every day is different. I'll do the other side too. Before I tighten them down all the way. The old bolt's too long, so the cap won't go on. Don't be the drill a hole in the top guy. So the bolt will go through. Just hacksaw it off or grind it off. I use the old grinder. I used to use a hacksaw, but this is a lot more faster. Just checking to make sure everything's cool. My partner in crime, Justin, he put the tank on. He's got to put the bolts in. Got the gaskets in there. Comes with the fill valve or the, the fill valve and the flush valve already in. Flapper. Just going to hook up the water, turn it on, give it the old dirty maintenance 10 flush. And again, I don't caulk the bottoms, guys. If the wax ring goes and starts leaking, I want to know immediately. I don't want to know when the freaking subfloor is rotten out. I want the water to come out. And I know immediately. I know it's code where some of you guys live, but not here, so I don't do it. leaks I'll just blame Justin. Alright his old toilet was 15 inches from from floor to the, the top here and this new one is 18 inches so he's got three more inches kid his old ball bag is gonna be swinging freely like a pendulum and a grandfather clock. I've given it the old 10 the Texas 10 flush and I'm not seeing any sign of a leak. Nothing on the bolts, nothing on the ground. 
If it was gonna do it, it'd do it by now. All right, thank you for watching The Dirty Maintenance Show. Yeah, it's just the way